were people waiting for him to come home because Nathaniel's coming home from Juilliard. That was a big thing in my neighborhood. And nobody really knew exactly what to do. Nobody knew about schizophrenia. Nobody really understood mental health. But I tell you one thing, my mother set out to find out exactly what was going on with her son. She made, if there is such a number, a gazillion phone calls. And she would ask me to write a letter to the mayor, write a letter to the governor, write a letter to this person and that person, write me a proposal. I want to start a, a home to help the mentally ill. This is years later. Because she found out very quickly that it was going to be difficult for her to directly help her son because he was very resistant to direct family help. But she never stopped trying. And I remember years later with all of this going on with my brother that you know he would say mean things to, to our family and it was, it was a hurtful time because this was a change that we did not expect. We expected to see our brother in the Cleveland Orchestra, but that didn't happen, and it didn't happen in the way that we thought that it would. So later with her research, my mother began to bring home, she would visit mental institutions to try to find out more information. Uh, there was no internet. You know, there wasn't Google, so she had to get out there and get in her car and drive to go find these things out. And she started bringing home ladies for lunch who had a mental illness. And I said to my mom, why would you do this? And she, at that time, wouldn't answer. And then she brought home a lady by the name of Thomasina Powell, sweet lady who she befriended. And the next thing you know, Miss Powell is living with us. And I said, Mom, I, I do not get this. Why would you do this? Why would you bring Miss Powell here? And we have uh, Anthony, which is what, what I call my brother, to deal with. And she said something that rings out in my head right now. I am doing for Miss Powell what I want someone to do for Tony. <laughs> 